Okay, this one, now you are putting periodic payments into an account, not all lump sum at once. So we're looking for the future value for A. How much will we have the account in 25 years? But this time we're going to put in a payment amount of 500, okay, instead of a present amount. So well, we'll just go like so and show you. So financial, we're looking for future value because that's what they asked for, right? And the rate is, what was that rate? 3%. Okay, so 0 0.03. And again, because it's because it is compounded monthly, we have to divide that by 12, okay? And the periods, and they want to know after 25 years, but again, because it's compounded monthly, we have to multiply that by 12. Hopefully you guys see a pattern here. Every time you have to, you have to figure out how every, uh, to do the adjustments in these two things right here based on how many times a year it's compounded. And the payment now is 500 a month because we're installing payments of 500 a month. You leave the present value blank and the type is always blank. I have no idea what that's even for, nor do I care. All right, so that means we'll, if I put 500 in a month, I will have $223,003.91 after 25 years, okay? There it is right there is the answer, all right? How much total money will you put into the account? Well, that's simple. All you do is, could do it on your calculator or right here on your spreadsheet. And that since you're doing 500 a month for 25 years, that's 500 that times 12, oops, times 12 times, and you could do this on your calculator too, 500 times 12 times uh, 25, because it's 500 per month. 12 months a year for 25 years. So I'm going to put $150,000 total into my account, okay? And then, <coughs> all right, it's just, it's just basic math, plug and chug, 500 times 25 and uh, times 12, each 500 each month. Now, be careful. That has nothing to do with how often it's compounded. That's a, just a simple math. I put in 500 each month. Uh, so it's 12 months a year for 25 years, and it comes up to $150,000. Uh, how much interest will you earn? All that is, is you take the total amount that you're going to have in there, 223000 and change, subtract how much you put in there of your own money. So this is how much of my own money I put in there. And after 25 years, that's how much I'm going to have. You just subtract those two, and you get $73,003.91. That's it.